What's good YouTube and the ultimate form here back again once again today people today we are here for episode 16 was 16 or 19 I lost track of our let's play of Horizon Forbidden West in the last episode we traveled up finally and made our way to Plainsong in this episode we're going to explore a bit of Plainsong itself as well as explore some of the aspects of the agrarian utaru if you like what you see here today please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you have not already ring that bell to get notified of more content coming your way share with your family and your friends and let's get it first up we have this vista point up here um showing off the area where plain song sits at the moment it was a uh long distance telescope array that sat um where plain song is now um when we hit when we go to plain song as i may have shown already um they built their home um using the dishes um the data point reads that um this was part of the conservation effort um as part of the tour done by Miriam Technologies, as we discussed, that was um, that Elizabeth Sobek previously worked for. Um, as we go through some of these other Vista points, we're going to learn a bit more about um, the efforts that were done during the clawback decade of the 2040s, after the die off the previous decade in the 2030s. So don't worry, we're going to find out more stuff and go through more stuff as we go along um as we re-enter plain song um i want to reiterate from the previous episode that the oh god that is loud that we did um get the notion <laughs> that the Oops, i didn't mark it on my map did i That the blight started here in the plain song, in their fields, as you can see, most of it's blighted. We're going to learn a bit more about um, the theories on that, as well as get a bit more on Utaru culture. Um, next thing on our docket of lists, um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but um, another uh, rumor smith or rumor um teller is here in the plain song and she'll give you information about points of interest here in the plain song um or in utaru territory as a whole as i mentioned before there's two areas to the plain song this lower area where um they tend to smaller fields um within their um city and then they have an upper area which they've built out of plant material. And we are quickly going to just have a walk around. And see um, all the sites here in a larger settlement since we've entered the Forbidden West. So we have the um, weapon shop so that the we also meet. So true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion. And the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsome? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds, you should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. So we know that we have a new hunting ground. Um, I'm not going to make an effort to buy too many weapons, because we do get quite a lot of good weapons throughout the story and doing missions. So there are a few um, blue weapons here that you can buy. Many of them will be... Um, really beneficial i really need to turn this music down there we go I'm trying to definitely still really loud i think maybe it's glitched okay so we're gonna go up this way because i want to check out um is it up here i think she's up here is she up here no but this is actually a living space uh, if you come here at night especially, you'll see a lot of people sleeping here. So there's a canopy living space that the Otaru have. Not everyone has seems to have uh, 
particular abode. Some do, like these ones here. And because they're agrarian, that means that they're farmers. Not particularly hunter-gatherers. This should be hey Yaf. Wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plainsong? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. But people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. So more often than not, if you save individuals that belong to a particular settlement, they will find their way back to their settlement where you can um, talk to them and aid them in further um, encounters, just like the, the Kadra in Twilight. This is another guy that we um, helped out earlier, um, and he sells... Not feeling that hungry, huh? So rations for us to use. Um, I'm pretty sure this is an example of an Atari bath. Somehow they managed to filtrate the water up through um, the um, dishes that they make their home on to bring water up to the upper level. Which is really cool, like, in terms of, like, their construction of things and everything. Who's this? Oh, this is Nell. You're back. I forgot about her. Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tenox. I forgot I helped her. To fight. As usual among themselves. She was actually a, a friend time, my village is caught in the middle. to Dane. And we passed by I passed by her village um in between episodes. Clans. If they're not attacking here, can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the buried years, which I believe Outlander. So we got. So I have to pause here because she's gonna talk about stuff that I haven't mentioned yet. So um, I spoke to the rumor giver on the lower floor, and she spoke about a place called River Hymn, which is in the north. We were heading there ourselves, but Nell gives us the quest to go there and help the um the occupants there fight off the Tanakh. The red raids. So that's how we'll that all fits leave. together. We sacrifice too much. You said your own people won't help. The cores are supposed to speak for all Utaru. And normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like Riverhem as lost lands, no longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. It's a completely different outlook on um, outlying settlements compared to the Nora. Um, if you remember back to the first game, the Nora are very protective of the lands, especially within the, the walls of the sacred land, and then also are quite protective of the settlements just outside. So, um, Mother's Crown, um, Mother's Outlook, I think it was called. But there were a few out. I think it was like two outlying settlements on the border of the of the Nora lands, and those settlements were purpose built to protect the sacred land from outside. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. So we would have got the quest. We didn't need to talk to Nell. Um, in particular in particular but um that's one way to get that quest if you didn't get it from the um from a rumor um i'm looking for i'm looking for something else um the we got a very short clip of um the utaru lands um in the promotion for this game and they should did show off plain song and i was taken aback by just the pure level of construction. Where am I going? Oh, I think I have to go to the next bridge. There we go. It is a little bit confusing because it's layered. Um. So yeah, we 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 got to see plain song and the con uh, and Utaro construction in shape language. This is why I really want the art book to come out because I'm so excited to see more information on the Utaru. 
Um, speaking of more information on the Atari, let's have a... If I can find the page that I had up. So as I mentioned, they are an agrarian tribe, which means that they're farmers. Um, the first Atari that we met, we met in the first game, and she was um, captured during the Red Raids, and um, wanted to lay her friend to rest. Okay, we're going to get this armor set later, I think. Oh, they sell Kaja armor. And survivor armor. Ooh. That might be a thought. We'll think about it. This does have low profile, so we might have to buy this one. But I will think about it. Defenses are good, though. Weaves and coils. I want a concentration regen. Silent strike gain. Silent strike heal. Silent strike. Smoke bomb capacity. Stamina regen. Stealth range. Trap limit. So pretty much most of the stuff that they have. Um, these coils are going to be handy later. This is why I'm buying them now. And this is our first example of a dyer. You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. Didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. I like to see how different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the life Okay, I don't know why the music is so loud. You can make armor express so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. So we've been collecting um, dye, uh, plants that we can use for dyes, and um, we can re-dye um, much of our armor, but um, their palettes are limited. So Grey Dawn, Pale Ferns, Eventide, Frozen Wilds. So they're just they're just set palettes that we can use based on the dyes that we have. So it's not something I'm going to it's mess about with. To the dyers. They may not be the friendliest of tribes, but if you bring their dyers, plants or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll keep an eye out for them. Got something else to pay attention to when you're in larger settlements. Now that we hit the west, um, who else? Oh, we need to go over here quick. Um. So one more stop. Yeah, one more stop on our on our little journey around um, Plainsong. Just want to show off all this stuff because there's some new stuff and some old stuff. And if you're playing along with me or you're looking ahead to see what you can and can't do and what's available to you, I just want to show off some of the smaller details. Come on. We got the last beginner machine strike player down Anyone? there I'll do that in my own time I walked the wrong way but you see how they got these layers and canopies um, they grow plants just about everywhere and on anything because again they're farmers everything is of importance so as you can see they plant soil and plants everywhere this is part of the dish that we're sitting on so this this part sits in a dish even grew a tree here like these guys are, are masters of their craft it's their livelihood and it just is expressed beautifully through everything that they do and I love it if I'm not a Banuk, I'm definitely an Utaru oh I haven't mentioned about um, the fact that they grow um, they carry seeds so when a Utaru is born they carry a seed pouch um, on their chest and when they die, as we've heard mentioned on a few occasions, um, the seeds are planted um, to spread new life. So in death, there is always new life. I find that to be wonderful. And they um, aggregate water in different places. That music is really, really loud. So this is the herbalist. He's kind of far and out of the way um, compared to everything else. So... Yeah, that's pretty much everything here in Plain Song. We need to find a fast track down to the bottom. Going down. Did you hear about the skirmish? Down to the 
bottom relatively quickly without killing ourselves because I did that last time jump straight off the top of the building of the highest point and then died because I've got to use my I'm here as promised Let's glider see. does it mean the chorus is ready it is assembled I couldn't have done it without Varl but I don't know what good it will do the chorus is in disharmony the subject of the cave is bad enough Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day, more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself, and the tribe. So, um... We're gonna, after we have this conversation, we'll talk a little bit more about Utari society. Um, every every tribe that we've met so far has had a governing body. The Utari, the Nora had the matriarchs, their matriarchal system. The Kaja has their king. The Osram have the elderman. Um, they run a bit more of an oligarchy where um, each elderman of a settlement speaks on behalf of their people. Um, the Manuk have their chieftains and the um, and then their shaman, and they act as a dualistic um, governance. And then all of their chieftains and um, shaman then can culminate, and then that's a bigger um, governance for the tribe. The Tanakh are split into clans. Each clan answers to a single chief from a clan. So we have a Karo who was mentioned, and he's from the um, Lowland tribe. And all the other clans answer to him. And then the Utaru had the chorus. The singing that we hear in the background is not just the Utaru people, but also their chorus. And then we can hear that far and wide. Um, from plain songs. Once we enter the area, that's the, that's the sound that we've been hearing. Um, let's talk about the sacred cave, cave sacred first. Because machines like Ray and the one you call Far go inside. Yes. Before the derangement, once a year, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Do first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors. Each reappeared. Two days later, shining anew. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hollowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes. Or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Our machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? It sounds like it. But the way these land gods would come and go, it, it's not like anything I've seen before. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Um, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. 
Many in the tribe, and most in the chorus, want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But yes, yes. Tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. Of if course, Vor. Very politically minded he is. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stonecraft of the Karja or Osaram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. They can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. They're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious, with a strange purple glow. That sounds That's familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So. The chorus is assembled. What now? They are considering your request. Then shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. And we won't be going there just yet, because we have a few other things to go do first. So, in addition to the hunting grounds, which I'll do my own time, because we'll talk to Ivrina, um, we have to start heading north. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to work our way to rither him but we're gonna go the cut we're kind of kind of gonna go the long way because we have a bit of time before between here and there so we're gonna head this way first and then we're gonna arc upwards well i say arc upwards. we're gonna go this way around and follow the um the side of the mountain so we're gonna put this quest on the back burner for the time being oops And then side quest the roots that bind. I wanted to get that out of the way. So um, when we do come back to greet the chorus, um, we can just head on and that will just be its own episode. Um, because there's a lot that happens and it progresses, obviously because it's the main story quest, it will progress the story significantly in a direction, not to say unfavorable, but it does mean that we're going to be pushed for story, and I don't want to depart from that too quickly. Um, yeah. So that was Plain Song. Um, in the comments below, let me know things that you find interesting about Plain Song, as well as um, any questions you have about the settlement as it, as it is now. Um, this looks to be an old. Um, Old World Fort and the Scrounger. Okay, is there a way up without having to blow, blow open the door? Maybe, but we're gonna blow open the door anyway. <coughs> I realize the blight kind of does the same job as corrupted zones. <coughs> Okay, you're stripped. Maybe I can afford to put the music back up. Oops, didn't mean to put in photo mode. Yeah, the music was just really loud in plain song. I still think that's glitched. 
because if that's the same as um other music and not is and isn't a sound effect it shouldn't be that loud but i'm pretty sure they'll patch it eventually okay we got some green shine still trying to figure out what green shine is but we'll i guess we'll get to that eventually Okay, so we have another... Is it close enough? So it stops there and it should stop here as well. Going down! There we go. Easy peasy. So we've got another survey drone. I should grab the drone's data now that it's down. Wait, did we get the black box? Yeah, we did. We got the black box in there, man. Okay, cool. We're on track. <coughs> I can strike that off my list. Where's Des? Des, where are you? Okay, let's run and mount. <coughs> okay, let's check our map. So we can't go up here just yet, we can't get, even get in. So we're going to go around this way. Because there should be a metal flower. Oops, almost took a wrong turn. There should be metal flower here at this Utaru settlement. There it is. Sounds like there's fighting going on, but where? But where? Uh-uh. Donzo. Don't get cocky. Headshot. Oh, there you are. Well, you ain't sneaking up on me, big dog. Let's strip that armor of yours. Dead. Oh, I missed. I'm overshooting. No, she's just moving in a weird way. Donzo. Thanks for helping, Des. I don't think I managed to save all the Otaru here. I don't think I managed to save them all. I was a bit late on that one. Oh, I did manage to save one. Okay. Not a total loss. But a few of them got killed. I'm not sure exactly why Regardless Rebels are target, targeting the Utaru in particular. But it might just be that they have nothing better to do. And you guys were shooting at Dez. Leave her alone. So let's go to the... Let's discover this first. Oh, I need a claw strider tail. So let's go do that first. On our way to the hunting grounds. Razor sharp claws and arm to the teeth. That thing's built to kill. Oh, I messed that up. Okay. 
Okay, we got close riders. So close riders come in variations. Oh my god, did I really miss that shot? There we go. Now run. Dead. Oops. Woo! These guys are really fast. So hitting the um I need the tail, so I really should be careful what I'm doing. I need to get some high ground. Go, Des. Um, striders are claw striders are mountable. I mean, they have strider in the name. Nice. Let's make you brittle, so I can make it get your tail off easier. Oh, potentially get your tail off easier. Why are you running? Come back here. Oh gosh, I missed. Okay, that was a good bullseye. Stop running towards me. Okay, tail's removed. Now I need to hit you in the chest. There we go. Woo! I do enjoy the fact that this game has a bit more tactical combat. Especially when having to peel off um, weak spots and remove machines' abilities to attack you. Or ways of attacking you. Done. So that should have been at least two tails. I like horse riders. Their design. Their their raptor inspiration goes back to um the the whole notion of the game, which was um hunting robot um dinosaurs. And while I don't think most machines are actually dinosaurs, where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. I thought I lost you. Okie dokie. So we have the ability to now upgrade um, one of our pieces of armor that we needed. Um, we might have to come back and get some more claw strider parts. Um, in future, because I think I need one for a for a weapon that I'm gonna have to make later. I'm, sorry, I'm I'm gonna have to upgrade. I don't have to make it because I'm gonna get it as a quest reward. Um, this should be near the hunting grounds, as night descends. E even their bridges are wonderful. They're not as I don't know how to describe um, their bridges. I don't know what it is. Something about their bridges. I like. I really like their. I like like their shape language in general. Lots of curves. It's very naturalistic. And there's a settlement here. I think we have to come back here for a quest. So I'm not too fussed about finding it now. And there's mushrooms here. Cool. Let's, oh, green shine silver. Excellent. Let's make our way to the hunting grounds. That's where we're really heading to for now. Should be across the bridge. Come on, Des. Whew. 
And this should be the hunting grounds. Oops. Blades around its eye. Good for digging tunnels. So this side is the entrance. Yeah, there we go. We are here. The grounds are closed, Outlander. Okay. Yes, it was an outfit upgrade. That's the one for the Savior Armor. The only armor we've bought so far because it has stealth range. And then we can should be able to fully upgrade it, actually. Well, we can't really this uh, spike snout sack webbing. Oh, when we get to those, that's going to be an interesting topic of conversation. The cordon has fallen. There will be no trials until we clear the invading machines. So he trades for pieces. Leap Lasher would be nice to have. Claw Strider, I think we have one already. Glint Hawk, Long Leg, Plow Horn, Sky Drifter. I think I'll buy a Long Leg piece. And a Sky Drifter piece. Gonna need those later. So we can't take on the, the hunting grounds just yet. Sun Torch Bow. Heavy Weave. Canister Rope Caster. Ooh, interesting weapons. Not gonna buy any of them though. So we can't do the hunting grounds yet, but I'm going to end the episode here, because the next episode we're going to head our way to Ritherham, and then we're going to go do all that fun stuff up there. If you like what you saw here today, in our little exploration of the Utaru, um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the bell to get notified of more content coming your way, and I've been your boy Lion Nautilus 4, and I'll catch you cats later.